Question seven, what platform or technology did you use to build your e-learning portfolio? So the technology or platform that I used is, um, so I have my, my portfolio on GitHub Pages. So I have it hosted for free on GitHub Pages and you can also um, have your domain name um, linked into this too. So um, basically, what you where you put all of your um, files and everything is on your github and as you can see if you see this it, right now it currently still has my github URL and I'm going to change that to my blog and if you go into some of my samples as well they still have um, the actual URL to my, um, some of my sites so um, that's something that I'm going to change, but I do have this hosted for free on GitHub Pages. Then the uh, portfolio, I actually built this with a Jekyll template. So um, it's really cool and easy to use and easy to customize if you are familiar with CSS. So I used a Jekyll template and I customized it using um, using a web or text editor called Sublime Text and went in and changed all the colors, the fonts, um, some of the button styling and a few other things and I'll continue customizing it as well. And I also have a contact form here on my site down here and this is set up with Form Spree which will um, send the email to me directly and I'll get this to my inbox. So, uh, so those are the three major components for my site. There's a million way, different ways to do it. My old site, it was a WordPress site that I um, actually, it was more of like a drag and drop. So um, I wanted to do something that could challenge my skills that I'm building in coding and that's why I had chose, chosen to do this and I think this is also a good example of something that I would show in my portfolio as well and uh, show more as I'm learning and show the progress and the customization that I'm building on my portfolio.